Today, we are going to be naming the ionic compound of SnCl4. Now, we have only two elements here. We have Sn, which is tin, and we have Cl, which is chlorine. So with only two elements, one should be a metal and one should be a nonmetal if we're doing ionic compounds. Let's just map them out where they are on the periodic table. Now tin, which is Sn, is all the way down here somewhere, right? And maybe I'll label that in blue. Okay, so tin is down here, right? And now it's a metal because remember, there's like a staircase down the periodic table. And to the left of the staircase are all metals, excluding hydrogen, and all to the right are um, nonmetals. So we have tin being a metal, and then Cl, chlorine, which is over here on the periodic table. This one is a nonmetal, right? It's in group 7A or 17. So that's why we have a metal and a nonmetal. Tin is the metal, and chlorine is the nonmetal. Now let's write out the name. The metal name always stays exactly the same. So since Sn is tin, I'm just going to write tin. Now the nonmetal, in this case the chlorine, that name gets the IDE ending. So on the periodic table, it's chlorine, but when we name it, it has to turn into chloride. So I drop the I-N-E and I add the I-D-E. Now, just do a double check, just to make sure that we don't need to use any Roman numerals. But here's an exception. Even though tin is not in this little block here, it is classified as like a, tr a transition metal. I believe it's a post-transitional metal. So just put a star next to this, guys, okay? Tin, even though it's not in this block, it still needs a Roman numeral. So I do need to put a Roman numeral here. But what is the Roman numeral? Well, this is pretty easy to find out. We're going to take our numbers, the subscripts on the bottom, and crisscross them back up to find the charges. The Roman numeral is always the charge of the metal. So there was one SN, there's four chlorines. This one crisscrossed up telling me that chlorine was a negative one. And this four crisscrossed up telling me that Sn was a positive four. Remember, metals want to lose electrons, become positive, and nonmetals want to gain electrons, become negative. Now, since chlorine has a negative one charge and it's in the negative one group, this checks out. So if this checks out, the tin charge has to check out. And since this was a plus four, the Roman numeral inside has to be a four, and that's a I. V, right? So that's all you got to do. You don't have to put a plus IV, right? Just, just the Roman numeral. And that's it. So tin 4 chloride is the ionic name for SnCl4. All right? Hopefully this helped. Let me know in the comments. Give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel. That will help us out. And yeah, let's keep studying hard, guys. All right? I know you got this. All right? And good luck in all your future studies. I'll see you in the next lesson. Bye-bye.